dear students in this screencast video lecture we are going to see the points related to elongation of the translation process so with the formation of a 70s initiation complex the elongation cycle will be starting this elongation cycle is further divided into three steps that includes amino acyl trrna delivery peptide bond formation and the third one is a translocation simply it meant movement of the ribosome in the start of the elongation the p site is occupied and a site will be commonly empty the elongation steps involves three elongation factors they are in short refers as a ef it include eftu efts and efg which is also referred as a translocase and it is involved in the translocation process all this elongation factor can able to bind to gtp or gdp the steps involved in the elongation are as shown below the first step is amino acyl trna delivery the eftu is required to deliver the amino acyl trna to the a site of the ribosome and this process energy is consumed in the form of hydrolysis of the gtp that have been attached there with the elongation factor tu thus after the delivery of amino acid there to the a site the eftu gtp complex is converted into eftu gdp complex further the gdp can be displaced with the help of another elongation factor that is efts and this involves the eftu efts exchange cycle which can be explained there in the diagram the efts displaces the gdp that is in the gdp containing eftu when efts is added the gdp is displaced and the resultant complex is referred as a eftu efts complex thus the efts first displaces the gdp and subsequently the efts itself gets displaced on addition of the gtp thus again the eftu gtp complex is formed which is now available to bind to another amino acyl trna molecule and deliver it to the ribosome thus all amino acyl trna molecules can form this kind of a complex with eftu except the initiator trna molecule the next step is peptide bond formation after the second amino acyl trna delivery the a and p sites both are occupied with two amino acids that are need to be joined by the peptidyl transferase activity that is called as a peptide bond formation step here the peptidyl transferase activity of the 50s subunit can now form a peptide bond between these two amino acids without the input of any more energy since the amino acyl trna molecule itself is already a charged one the last step here in the elongation is a translocation which requires a special kind of elongation factor called g which is also referred as a translocase so this elongation factor binds with the gtp and then it binds that to the ribosome molecule with the help of the energy in the gtp this helps the trna to get ejected there from the p site the peptidyl trna is now moved from a site to p site and thus the ribosome moves in the mrna one codon ahead during this process the gtp is hydrolyzed and made into gdp and this gdp and the elongation factor g are getting released the later that is elongation factor g is further cycled there to continue the translocation process a new codon is now present in the vacant a site a recent evidence suggests that in prokaryotic organism the discharged trna is first moved to e site that is from a it moved to p from p it moved to e 
and this e site is referred as a exit site which is the actual location from which the trna molecule is ejected which facilitates the binding of next amino acyl trna molecule in this way the ribosome maintains a very tight contact there with the mrna molecule with the help of at least six different base pair molecules so this kind of a tight contact ensures there won't be any chances of the frame shifting during the process of elongation so at the end one cycle of the three step elongation cycle has been completed and this cycle is further repeated until one of the three termination codons that is stop codon appears there on the a site